What's good, what's good, what's good, folks? It's your boy Nate coming at you once again with another video. This video is for side hustlers, freelancers, bloggers, and when I mean bloggers, when people are looking to, you know, make some money from YouTube and their blogs, and small business owners. Get you a website. Get yourself a website. Get yourself a website for your business, for your blog. Do not rely solely on YouTube, Facebook, Instagram, or TikTok. Um, if you're a hus side hustler, do not rely on Facebook, Craigslist. You're a freelancer. Don't just solely rely on the gig apps. Use those resources as a supplement for your business. If you're serious about this blogging game, Especially if you're going to get into saucy and salacious type content. Get yourself a website. Get yourself a website. You want to diversify your audience and you want to have some ownership of your platform. Because in the beginning, there's nothing wrong with starting off on Craigslist, gig apps. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Uh, that's, yeah, you're, you're small. You want to get your feet wet. You want to see if this is something you want to do. First couple of years, get some money, get some clout, get some traction, get some views. There's nothing wrong with that in the beginning. You don't want to stay there. You want to get yourself a website. And I, I'm telling you guys from experience at one point, I was making about $2,000 a month from YouTube. And I was getting little to no views because I had a website. And I was selling affiliates, my services. I was making ad revenue, so on and so forth. You want to have yourself a website. Because what happens is, back to the bloggers, you're talking about, you know, um, um, controversial, uh, salacious topics. Once your channel gets on the YouTube radar, videos, your videos are going to start getting flagged, and if you get too big, gonna snatch your channel away or gonna get demonetized i've seen youtubers who had huge followings well get demonetized or they're banned from going on youtube or social media platforms so you want to monetize yourself your brand your product your services, your voice outside of third party apps. What's the third party app? YouTube, Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Craigslist, even. You don't want to rely on that. You 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 don't want to rely on that. Just from experience, I, I I am banned from advertising on Facebook. I'm bad. I I I I'm bad from advertising on Facebook. I can post content on Facebook, but I can't. I can't advertise any product or services on Facebook. Um, I've had videos snatched. I just had a video taken down. Uh, Two weeks ago, I got a warning. I got a warning. Um, and it's nothing like 
getting well I'm not gonna go into that I'm, I'm, I'm gonna keep this I'm gonna keep this video very simple basic I'll get into the nitty-gritty on my patreon channel where I'm going deep in, in um, I'm gonna start having tutorial videos because when you're advertising from your website and when you're advertising on YouTube or any of these apps, it's just a different ball game. When people come to your website, you're a little bit more serious and it's loyal fans, loyal customers. On YouTube, especially YouTube, it's the peanut gallery. That's the peanut gallery. You're dealing with trolls. You're dealing with a lot of people who not bright. Still on the peanut gallery. But on this platform, I don't get the peanut gallery on this platform because I don't crack jokes. I get straight to the point. My topics are informational. I'm trying to help people. I'm not talking about any, I'm not talking about dating. I'm not talking about race. I'm not talking about politics. I'm not talking about religion. That's on my other YouTube channel. <laughs> this is how to supplement your job, start a small business, and freelancing. There's platforms out there like Wix. Wix is a good website, very easy to use. A lot of it's drop and drag, simple, really simple. Um, I wouldn't hire nobody to do my website. I would just go go through Wix, paid a little $23 a month. It, it might sound expensive and, and you know, oh, that's a lot. But if you're making sales, and you can use that as a tax write-off. It's worth it. Because you want something that you can go in and make changes yourself. Diversify your voice. Diversify your platform. There's nothing wrong with using the apps to supplement your website. Having a website for a business is very, very important and it's very essential. Right, so that's all I got for you guys. Hopefully, this video helped you guys go out and be blessed, be a blessing to others. Boy, Nate, I'm out.